Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Brahmasetti. Today we'll see one of the important topics that is DBT code gen. So this is one of the package used in DBT for generation of the code. We'll see same thing in detail. Okay. So before that, you should have better understanding of what is database, schema, and fully qualified name. Okay. So if you're able to understand fully qualified name is nothing but what? The database name, the schema name, and object name is called as fully qualified name and the YAML file. Sources.yaml packages start yaml okay if you're able to understand this concept the concept will be simple and easy okay so we'll discuss what exactly code gen package with real-time use case okay we'll see the concept like what exactly see i want to go for this database Pravin dbt training ras schema okay in this one i want a list of tables okay this is the basic understanding show tables now what happened now i want to access the same thing okay see how to access in we are in the same database same schema, we should go for what concept? No need to go for the same thing. But we are, we are in different database and a different schema. Now, if I want access, it will work. It says object does not exist. Now, how to make it working? We should go for what concept? Go for copy the name. Okay, see, so we are in different database, but our object in this table. We should go for what concept? Fully qualified name. The database name, the schema name, and object name is called as fully qualified name. So this is fine. Same functionality, copy the same thing. Control C, Control V. Now copy the same thing, customers. Okay, copy this value. And so this is my dbt cloud. Okay, I'm opening one new SQL worksheet. Control V, now see it says, object does not exist because we're in different database, different schema it says, object does not exist. So for this purpose, what we should go for fully qualified name. So instead of mentioning fully qualified name, so in DBT, we are having the concept of sources.yaml concept. One more time, let me execute the same thing. It says, now it's working fine. Okay, see, we are using the database name, schema name, it's working fine. Now point you need to remember is that what now, instead of writing this fully qualified name, so DBT given a concept of what? concept of one sources.ml. For this purpose, what I'll go for dbt hub packages. Okay, so this is the packages. So dbt packages hub. So there's so many packages will be there out of this. I'll go for one code gen package. So if you want to know what I should use, we should copy the same thing and we should put in the packages.yaml concept. Let me come to get some complete idea. So I go for dbt hub and search for this code gen package. We need to copy, if I want to use this package, we should copy the same thing and put into it packages.yaml. Okay, see, see, if we scroll down now, packages.yaml will be there. And put, okay, see, already is there, control B. Okay, save it. Okay, see, I'm using this packages. Now what happened, second step is to run the depths command. So dbt depths command. Okay, so this is the way we need to do. Okay, first step is to copy the package. And the second step, we run the dbt depths command. Okay, now open here. Okay, open here. Now what happened in the code gen? There is so many packages that are there. Out of this, I'll go for one package. For the point as a simple thing, just I'm going for one use case, you'll get some clarity. So this is the Zinza expression, code gen. Code gen is the package. In this one, generate source is the macro. So generate source. You see? macro we need to pass so many arguments are there out of this i'll pass three arguments so database name which database we are pointing to we are pointing to Pravin dbt training this is my database <coughs> so see where exactly we will put in different things so put a single code so database name next i should pass the schema name okay so it will get automatically passed it is a simple thing so schema name control c and control so one section, you will know, get some clarity what exactly I'm talking about. So database we have passed, schema we have passed, then we should go for name. Okay, see which name I want to give, the source name. So PRAV is the source. Okay, now see simple thing, copy, control C, compile selection. Okay, now see we'll get one source start, YAML concept is there. Okay, see. So see what exactly we are trying to do. This is the source start YAML. If I want to access this object, so this is the database name, schema name, and object name. Okay, see the same thing. 
Now we need to copy the same thing. Control C, Control N, okay, Control V. Now I want to save Control S. I'm saving the models folder. We'll see one more time, we'll get some clarity. Models, okay, sources start. YAML. Okay, this is sources. If you don't know, like search for sources.yaml, what exactly it's so in the models folder, I'm putting sources. YAML file. Okay. Now, what exactly I want to convey is that what instead of writing everything manually, dbt given a concept of code and package, just pass the database name. Uh, just what I should pass, just pass the database name, okay, schema name, and the source name. We get this enter whatever the objects are there, those object sources will be available just to copy the same thing and put here now what happened now see what i want to convey that see this is my okay object now see select star from okay see what exactly we should go for source function this is you should have a little bit idea then only get okay see one source function is there source function what is my source name source name is so prc okay see prc which one again private the source name and which object i want to refer I want to refer this customer. Let me go back here. Sources.yml. Okay, see what's our object name? We want to refer. We want to refer what? This object. Customers. customers. You see one more time. I'll get some clarity. Okay. Control V. Now what happened? Customers. If I type now, it will get automatically populated. Now see the same thing. Now what happened? Preview the data. Okay, same data came out. So say one join, same thing execute also the same thing. If exit the same function, it will give the same result. Okay. Previous selection, it will the same thing. Okay. I'll explain one more time. I'll get some clarity. Okay, see this is a functionality. So point in remember is that what we don't recommend it, the database name, schema name, object name in the date dbt project. That's why you go for sources dot yeah, let me close all the same thing. You'll get one more time, right? Explain. Okay. Okay. So discard the changes. Okay. So everything discard. Okay. So discard. So first, what we should go to what? So search for dbt hub packages. Okay. So packages. Okay. Which one I should take? So click there. There's so many packages given by dbt. Search for a dbt code gen package. What exactly we should do? We should take this packages. Okay. Copy the same thing. Control C, go to where, which one? Packages start YAML. Okay, so place here. So place here. Okay, next step is to save it. Okay, run. We should run this command. What's the command we need to run? So dbt depths command. When I run this, what happened? We can able to do this packages in our dbt project. Okay, this is fine. Now, what exactly I want to convey is that what we are in which database? So Pravin dbt training, RAS schema. Now what happens, search for show tables. It will give list of tables. Now, what exactly, suppose I want to access this table. How to access, select star from delivery. So, so it is working fine. Same thing, if I copy the same thing, go to the dbt and open one more SQL worksheet. Now for exit network, control V. Network, so see the same thing. It says object does not, because we are pointing to a different database, Different schema, it says object does not exist. So for this purpose, what's the concept given? We should go for what? We need to go for copy the name. Control V. But this is fully qualified. Generally, this is not recommended. For this purpose, what? Okay, so dbt given a concept of source function. So by using source function, we can able to make it. So for this purpose, what I should require one YAML file. How to get the YAML? So see for this one, dbt code gen, where there is one package, it generate the automatic YAML. Okay, how to generate automatically? See, so see already we install the package, code gen package. So code gen dot, gen, okay, generate source. So generate source, okay, is the macro name. In this macro, there are so many arguments are there. Okay, first one is the database name. Okay, so what's the database name I want to go for? So see, copy the database, okay? So this is my database name. We can give any database, okay? So control V, okay? So database completed. Next to go with schema name, okay? See, when you put automatic, we populate, okay? So copy the schema, okay? So which schema I want to go for? 
ras schema so whatever see there are so suppose like 10 tables are there 10 tables yaml will be populated there okay so okay see this is fine next one what i want to give the name okay see source name okay see i go, i want you so prav1 okay or prav this is the source name okay now what happen select and compile the selection so see what exactly it's going so see it's given sources dot yaml concept oh, you see the only we need to write manually instead of writing manually this package will get automatically in this database in this schema how many tables are there those all the sources names will be available no need to write manually now what happen copy the same thing control c open one sql worksheet control v now where i want to save this one save in the sources dot yaml okay see sources any name i can use sources okay dot yaml put in the mac models folder okay so okay we can put sources one dot yaml okay now what happened now how to refer this object by which function source function okay with the help of source function we can able to access the same thing. okay so let me go back here so this is the object now instead of writing what happened select star from okay see source function so bracket open bracket loss why our name is what prav dvd which object I want to refer? I want to refer delivery object. Okay, see, delivery. It's a single quote. So, delivery. So, delivery. Okay. Single quote. Now, see what happened when I try to execute. See the data? See the data? So, we're getting the same data. So, 301, 101. Same thing. If I execute the same thing, it is also giving the same data okay so you need to remember is that what instead of writing manual the sources dot yaml so dbt with the help of code gen one macro we can able to generate the yamls automatically just we should pass the database what exactly we are trying to pass the database name schema name and name so it will get whatever the so like 100 objects the 100 objects will be populated see one more time control c compile selection we get the same function so this is the usage of dbt codes and package. the point. So this is a simple thing. So no need to write manually. So so since so this main purpose DRV. Don't repeat yourself. Just put the database name, schema name. It will get automatically. Okay. So if you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.